the faithful God. You see, famine is an extreme and general uh, scarcity of food. It's uh, uh, extreme hunger and starvation. Starving really or famine is a terrible thing. It often precedes and creates a pathway to sickness and diseases. Uh, because of the human immune system, uh, it becomes deficient. As a result, the body becomes so weak that it's unable to fight infections, viruses, any kind and, or of any kind, and therefore it succumbs and becomes and gives way to one kind of sickness or the other. You see, famine resulting in malnutrition becomes the uh, the breeding ground for the outbreak of plagues, pestilence, and can be de very devastating. Uh, you can see it in a person. Uh, they, are, they are bony, they are thin, they are lean, they are uh, emaciated. You see, you have to know that all truths are parallel. As it is in the natural, so it's also in the spiritual. As it is in, in the sin world, so it is also in the unseen world. Uh, there is a natural famine and there, are, there is what you call spiritual famine uh, because the spiritual famine always precedes the natural. The, that is the natural famine. This is why uh, I really do believe that the natural famine is, is a byproduct of the spiritual famine. Because of Israel in the Bible's uh, persistent sin, uh, God sent a word of prophecy through prophet Amos. In Amos 8, 11, this Bible tells us, God says, Behold, the days cometh, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread or a thirst of water, but of hearing of the words of the Lord. You see, uh, not a famine of bread and water, not a famine of natural, regular food and drink, but a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. I wonder if there is not a famine of the word of God in our churches today, in our cities today, and also in our, in our nation today. I just, I wonder if there is not uh, a famine of the word. I wonder if there's not an extreme and general scarcity of the logos and rima of God's word today, leading to what I would call extreme spiritual hunger and starvation. You can see it in us. It affects, uh, you can see the effects of it. You can see the deficient character traits, the lack of faith, the lack of peace, the lack of joy, the lack of true happiness in life. Oh yes, uh, we, we do our religious thing. We say to ourselves, uh, we fulfill our religious obligations. We tick the boxes. Uh, we enjoy the feel-good factor and give ourselves a pat on the back. But do we really hear him? Do you hear his word? Do you understand when he speaks? Do you know what the Lord requires of you? In Matthew 13, 10 to 11, in the God's Word translation, the Bible says, The disciples asked him, Why do you use stories as illustrations when you speak to the people? Jesus answered, Knowledge, uh, uh, knowledge about the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, but it's not given to the crowd. You see, a true believer will always understand the mystery and the principle of the kingdom when it is taught. He will apply the truth and benefit uh, uh, and enjoy the benefit uh, uh, that comes by it. According to Jesus, the other people, the crowd inside the church, hear the, they just hear parables, they hear stories, and miss the word, resulting in spiritual famine. Don't be one of the people who lack understanding this way. Don't be one of the crowd. How, how you hear is so important. Hear the full truth. Be a disciple. Jesus did not come to make believers. He came to make disciples. He turned to his disciples and said in Matthew 13, 16 to 17, Blessed are your ears. Blessed are your, uh, for they see. Blessed are your ears because they hear. I can guarantee this truth. Many prophets and many of God's people long to see what you see but didn't say it. To hear what you hear but did not hear it. Lord give us, you see, the God, God give us a promise in Psalm 37 verse 19. He says, they shall not be ashamed, that is believers, that is disciples. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. 
and in days of famine they shall be satisfied. So I pray before I go this morning that the Lord will, will meet you at the point of your need. I pray that the word of God will not be scarce to you. I pray that, Lord, you will not go through famine. I pray that you will, you will give your heart to the Lord and that your heart will be a heart of obedience, that your eyes will see, that your eyes will see his plan for your life. He will see his purpose for your, for your life. I pray that you will give, uh, he will give you a mouth that speaks his word, his testimonies, a mouth that speaks wisdom, that speaks life. I pray that he will give you a mouth that glorifies his, his name. I pray that the works of your hand will be blessed. That this week your career, your business, your family, your home will be blessed. And all the good that you set your hand to do this week, I pray that, Lord, it will prosper. Well, before I go this morning, it's still Oluyemi from KICC Manchester. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord empower you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. In Jesus' name, have a wonderful week.